Welcome back, everyone. So uh, I'm Bjorn Michaelsen, that's me. And I'm working on uh, LibreOffice for Ubuntu for quite a while. So uh, I thought maybe i give you some insight uh, since LibreOffice is around for quite a while already, um, how that developed. And for me, this story begins uh, around October 2010 on a rainy day in, when I was sitting in Nagelsweg in Hamburg in a corporate office and some cowboys decided to fork LibreOffice while I was working on an open office. <laughs> that was my, re <laughs> my reaction to that. And um, yeah, if you know me, you might guess what happened next. There was an epic discussion of, on the German open office mailing list with references to Monty Python's Life of Brian. What did the Romans ever do for us? And uh, well, it was 900 mails on that thread alone. And in the end, I owed Torsten a beer, which I had to um, give back to him at the next Hackfest. So um, that was the start for this. Two months later, uh, I quit my job at Oracle, and another two months later, having never done Debian or Ubuntu packaging before, I released this, which was uh, the first LibreOffice release uh, of, uh, on Ubuntu. And uh, it, was, it, <laughs> it was quite exciting, I can tell you that. So it went on, then we had 4.2, then this happened. Uh, we created the Document Foundation in February 2012. And I became one of the first directors, uh, a member of the board of directors of this. And it gave me some second, second thoughts because there was this long flame fest that I did just um, a few years ago. And if you, if you can read German, you can see uh, some of the statements I did back then. Statements like, oh, if you're not having a few millions and a proper foundation, this, this is never going to work. And this, this careless rant back then in 2010 suddenly was a miss mission statement because I was at the head of this foundation by that time. So, um, yeah, that was that. And we car carried on and tried hard to make this stuff work to actually get a foundation that can be a basis for a, a project. And of course, we carried on doing releases. This is LibreOffice 3.5, the first LibreOffice version on an Ubuntu LTS release. And that uh, was su or is supported for five years. So that was the first one with five years support, and so on. Next release, 3.6, on the next Ubuntu release. Here you can see the first time that the integration with the Unity menu and Unity has been done, and so on. Um, this is LibreOffice 4.2 on the next LTS release, and it not only has smiling happy cats, um, it also uh, is again an LTS release. Um, so the second one that is supported long time, and so on. And at some point, uh, I stopped making slides about uh, Ubuntu releases because then five happened. So I'm skipping a few here. And well, then let's skip to like this summer. This happened. The document for, uh, Canonical joined the Document Foundation Advisory Board. So we're on board there too, which by the way is in addition to, if you look at this, this were all the LibreOffice releases and the Ubuntu releases and the LibreOffice conferences that we did. Uh, and we sponsored all of those conferences. Canonical sponsored all of them. By the way, who in the audience ever took part in uh, organizing a conference? Can we have an applause for these guys? Okay, so as I said, there were a few releases between that I skipped over. And this is the one that will be released with Ubuntu 16.10, yakety-yak, uh, 
in, uh, in a few months, and it's uh, LibreOffice 5.2. Actually, 5.2.1 is already in this release, and it's uh, the first release that also has uh, GTK3 as the default backend, and the Ubuntu theme also works with it, which it didn't before. <coughs> so um, we, we can uh, carry on there with this story. Um, just to give you an overview, in addition to all these releases, these are the currently supported Ubuntu releases and the LibreOffice versions that come with it. There are two PPAs with uh, LibreOffice fresh and still in it, so you can, for most of these, uh, install uh, newer versions of LibreOffice on very old versions of Ubuntu. So all this got into place pretty well. And I was pretty comfortable with all the stuff that I was doing. In the meantime, by the way, um, uh, well, I learned to do Debian packaging and got involved in, uh, I never became a Debian developer, but I learned to know my ways around there. And then this happened. My company announced that we are doing a new uh, packaging format. And uh, also, I got older than 35 in the meantime. And if you have read Douglas Adams, you know that everything invented after you are 35 is against the natural order of things. So my first reaction was this. But, <laughs> but actually, the more I looked into it, the more I liked what I saw. And in the end, soon after this happened, and we released uh, LibreOffice 5.2 as a snack pack snap package, which you can not only install, so you can have LibreOffice 5.2 not only on the upcoming LibreOffice release, but also on the current LTS release that is currently out, and you can install it directly from Snap. And this is what you will continue, continue to be able to do as uh, time progresses. So what is the cool stuff about Snap or Snap packages? Well, the first thing is they are contained. That means uh, they bring their own stuff with them. And this, for example, makes it possible to easily create a new version of LibreOffice running on an older version of uh, Ubuntu and some other uh, advantages that I don't want to get into too detailed right now. But um, this is one advantage. The next one is there are, for example, channels, stable, oops, uh, stable candidate better edge, so you can select. We can, for example, I'm not doing that currently with LibreOffice, but uh, you can also just from the normal um, app store in Ubuntu in, in the future, probably, you will be able to select. I want to have uh, better versions of LibreOffice and can do very easy testing with new versions. So it will be a lot easier to just uh, try something out and decide, oh, I want to have the more stable stuff or I want to have the older stuff. Um, I order newer stuff. And along the same lines, we have atomic updates. Um, this is how Debian packaging works. Essentially, you rip out the old packages, and then you follow on the new and hope everything works out. And with, <laughs> with Snap packages, actually, you install both in parallel, and you can have the new one all in place. And there is no, um, no risk of being suddenly struck in between two chairs or something. And the other thing is that comes along with that is rollback. Sometimes this can happen with the old packaging, which is you <laughs> jump onto the new package and suddenly everything is broken. And with snap packages, you can just go back to the old version, uh, which is great. Um, yes, and the snack package is already full featured, so we have all the backends in there. We also have uh, Java, base scripting, and all that stuff in there. And this was uh, announced a few days ago on September th uh, 2nd by a coworker of mine, Michael Hall. And that allows uh, plugins to be available in Snap packages. This is uh, currently the examples are like multimedia plugins and stuff. 
But this, uh, I'm, I'm excited to try this out for LibreOffice. And that will mean that you can, uh, for example, have extensions uh, deployed as snap packages for LibreOffice. Why is this important? Well, mm, it's not that easy to get something into Ubuntu or Debian because there are a lot of rules. Because if, uh, if packages break, they break for a lot of people. So um, it's not easy to get stuff in. And there's the, the bug tracker, for example, has this example. Um, so there are not a lot of, for example, extensions in, uh, in Debian and Ubuntu. There are a few, but not too many. But it would be cool to have them in the way so that you would get updates uh, all the time and you wouldn't need to like, um, manually download them like from uh, the LibreOffice web page. If you would get them automatically, that would be cool. And Snap actually w will allow that. So uh, my plan is to give you an example extension for LibreOffice, and uh, then we can see maybe over the next year to have lots of extensions for LibreOffice available as Snaps too. Okay. That's all for me. <laughs>